For the first time tonight, we're hearing from the mother of a beloved waitress who was killed three years ago this week in Plaza Midwood. Police still don't know who killed Katie Jones or why. Her death stunned the community and left investigators with very few clues. Their best lead? a grainy piece of surveillance video that shows Katie's last moments alive. NBC Charlotte defender Michelle Bowden sat down exclusively with Katie's mother to talk about the case. Katie, she was just bigger than life. She was um, the most caring, most loving person. Javonna Livingston is living a nightmare. You literally wake up and feel like you're in a bad movie. It's just getting up, taking a breath getting through the day. Her daughter, 26-year-old Katie Jones, was shot and killed walking home in Plaza Midwood three years ago this week. When you have your children, you give a little bit of your heart to them. And when that heart is just gone, there's no way to find it and fill that spot again. It's just it's a hard road. A road made even harder because she has no idea who killed her daughter or why. None of it makes sense to me. Nothing was stolen. I'm not sure what happened. I, I've gone over it a billion times. Like, I can't even tell you how many times I've watched that YouTube video of, the, of the, her walking down the road. Police say that video is their best clue. They believe Katie's killer is in that car. I felt like at first it was maybe gang related because that's what I was being told, but I don't think so now. I really don't. I feel like she knew this person. But this week, Katie's mom says she is choosing to focus on the way her daughter lived and making sure her memory lives on. And that's where the scholarship came in. I wanted her to live on forever. And, and you know, she wasn't able to stay in college because she didn't have the funding to continue. So for her to be able to help somebody in a small bit, that would be everything to her. I mean, I know she's smiling down. We've got information about that scholarship on our website. And if you have information about this case, call Crime Stoppers. That number is 704-334-1600. You could get cash for helping make an arrest. Reporting in Charlotte, Michelle Bowden, NBC Charlotte.